Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Today we're going to do another sourdough recipe. Um, we're going to do Okay, first, and we're going to take one cup of our wonderful sourdough. We're just going to drop that right in there. Get that, all that wonderful sourdough in there. Oops. And in here, I have one cup of flour, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm just going to sift these together just to make sure our baking soda gets well broken up. And we're going to put this down, lock her into place, and we're going to put it on stir, and we're going to put in our flour. Now, my honey has, this is an old jar and it's crystallized, and if you want to, um, I don't think I locked that properly, if you want your, your honey to be um, not crystallized, you just set this, you would set this jar in a pot of boiling water and it would decrystallize. But since this is similar to sugar in its consistency, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to put the whole two-thirds of a cup of honey right in there. I'm going to crack in an egg. We need a quarter cup of oil. And of course, I'm using sunflower oil. There we go. We're just going to bring that up to two to really mix her up good. For our topping that we're going to crumble on top, now these are pecan halves. And I've got, oh, I've probably got about a half a cup there, a third of a cup. And I'm just going to. Give those a quick chop. Just enough to break them up a bit. You don't you, you, know, you want your nuts in there, you don't want them, you don't want them powdered, right? And I'm gonna do about a quarter cup of oats and a couple of tablespoons of butter. I don't know if this is actually gonna work. I might have too much stuff in here. And about a quarter cup of brown sugar. We're going to put about just about a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Now, just at the last, we're going to drop in our apples. We've got about a cup to a cup and a half of diced apples. And we don't want to overmix those apples because we don't want them breaking up. This is sourdough apple coffee cake. Not because it has coffee in it, but because it's great with coffee. We want to make sure we get every little bit. And remember folks, when you use sourdough, replace it and feed it with the amount you took out. So if you took out a cup of sourdough, then you would put in a cup of warm water and a cup of flour and a pinch of salt. Should have used a smaller pan, I'm thinking. There we go. We're just going to kind of move this around. There we go. Now we're going to take our crumble topping. Woo! And we're just going to break this up all over top. Now I'm going to pop this in a 375 degree oven for 35 to 40 minutes and we'll see you at the dinner table tonight. 
And there it is, folks, fresh from the oven. Can't wait till Papa tries this. Okay, I took a little tester. I took a little tester piece. How big? Yeah. You can always have another one. Huh? I can always have another one. Ooh, look at the little pieces of apple in there. <laughs> then nobody believes me it's you. Say hello. Oh. No, that's not saying hello. How is it? Very good. Yeah? Yeah. Another sourdough recipe. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, you can use sourdough for almost anything. Who'd have thunk it?